No, 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 no. Please, please, please. Hello and welcome everybody to Starter Deck channel. Today we have another video sponsored by Seed Studio. This is the fifth video I think. You can check the playlist from the link below. Well, today we have an FM receiver, Groove FM receiver. We're gonna test it and check some functions. I hope it will work with my local radio stations frequencies. As the description says, it has a range of 64 megahertz to 180 megahertz so i think we are okay so let's open the product so this is the module and groove cable as usual for groove modules then there's the card information card is always useful tells you the supply voltage for example and some little information about the product and here in the website you can check the product description and the product wiki which contains several information alongside some very useful examples and here unfortunately there is no arduino or seedwino example so we're gonna test the module and check what we can do with it well this is the module as you can see it has a jack 3.5 millimeter output you can use it with a headphones or some you know, speakers and here you have a button there is a button like there and then other ones in four directions as you can see in total there are five buttons integrated in this module you can see them here two for sound and two for tuning then the middle one for turning on or off the module and there there is the groove connector as you can see in the back there are four wires ground and vcc for power you can power it using 5 volt or 3.3 volt then there is D1 and D2 so the module as you can see you can just power it and then use some headphones or speakers then you can turn it on and listen to the radio you can navigate by this button it's very useful so hope you can see well because I just changed my video shooting location because the radio stations I couldn't reach them from where I usually film my videos so I changed it place so for our first test we're gonna use the module of course then i'm going to use seedwino nano but for the moment it's just for the power powering the module and i'm gonna use it later and for the sound i'm using some little speakers over there they have the jack 3.5 mm millimeter cable and i'm using a groove cable and i add some jump wires because i want to use it first with just 5 volt and ground then we're gonna add the D, uh, D1 button and D2 button so here's my little setup it's messy as usual so here I have the module the phone cable is already wired here or the jack 3.5 millimeter is al already here sorry and here I have my Seedwino Nano I'm just using two pins 5 volt and ground to power the module now it's off we're gonna turn it on and hope we can hear something so now it's powered I'm gonna tune for some uh, station well, at least this is not some copyrighted music those are our local stations. I'm gonna check some others. Okay, we stop here. We don't want a copyright strike. So now we're gonna use the module with our Seedwino Nano board, and we're gonna use some external push buttons instead of the internal push button of the module. So as you can see here, we just have two of them: D1 and D2 so one is just for turning on and off the module the other one is for uh, 
uh, scanning or tuning for radio station so here's the code I'm using it's very simple here I'm defining some inputs outputs I'm using so here I have button 1 and button 2 for the inputs they are on 2 and 3 pins digital pins and then I have the button D1 for the FM module and button D2 for the FM module they are defined on the pins 4 and 5 then here I have some boolean variables it's the state of the buttons so here first I'm defining the pin mode and here as you can see for the button 1 and button 2 I'm using the input pull up because I want them to always be on the high state because low state actually activates the button functions so that this is why I'm using the high state at first if I put it at low at first it will start the module we don't want that and here I'm putting the D1 and D2 pins from the module at the high level because as I said it's activated on low level and here I'm constantly reading the button 1 and button 2 state and if the button 1 low or if the button to low we are call this function it's button p so what this button p actually sends a low signal for three seconds and then turn it to high again because using the direct button from the seedwino to the module is a bit sketchy it, i tried it it didn't work so this is the best way i found we when we press the button it will be on the low state for three seconds then it will go on high but actually you can just press once and here of course you can remove these things just help for debugging what's happening or to show what's happening I'm gonna remove it right now with this one too so now it's good we're gonna try it so this is the second wiring it's also very simple I'm powering the module using the 5 volt from the Seduino Nano and here instead of using the built-in buttons we can use some external button but only for like just the two functions turning it off and on and then for the tuning or scanning for radio stations and unfortunately you cannot use the volume controlling buttons because we don't have uh, other uh, digital input so the push button are already wired with the ground it's over there this one this is a yellow cable and it goes here from the ground from the Seduino Nano and they are always on the high state and when I press the button is on the low state as I explained in the code it's also very simple now the code is uploaded I'm gonna test oh my god please don't be copyright something I'm gonna tune for other channels oh, cringy music I think we can stop here now it's stopped so here as you can see we use our proper uh, buttons you can now integrate this with a alarm clock or something in the morning to start the to start your morning with the cringy music it's always okay it will make you stand up and turn it off also we did this project in the channel for like the alarm clock it was simple alarm clock that's it for this module i hope you like it leave a like and subscribe if you want and see you next time